Om Shanti Welcome back to your own channel Seek the soul the truth lies within And today we are going to do the recording of 18th of April The Supreme Godfather's blessing Where he says That May we be loved by God And experience a stage Which is completely carefree Means That either we are praying to God And asking him for things requesting him for things or we are in the state of mind where we have generated and created a relationship with God where we feel that now everything is being taken care of by him and we are carefree that's why so let's understand this in details the heading goes like this may you be loved by God and experience a carefree stage by handing over all your worries to the Father, the Supreme Father. <coughs> How do we hand over the worries to the Father? If I believe that this house is mine, this land is mine, this body is mine, the child is mine, the wife is mine, or the husband is mine, or parents are mine, then obviously I'll be worried about them. I'll be tensed about them. But if I believe that yes, this all belongs to Supreme Godfather, none of them are mine. And my worries are actually going to make things more worse. But when I believe that everything belongs to God, then He shall show me the way of how to take care of them. That means the wisdom will flow into me when I say that everything over here that my eyes see, that my ears hear belongs to you. So you guide me. But when I say all of this belongs to me, then obviously that wisdom stops flowing and my intellect will start getting heavier. Your intellect will start getting heavier. So what do you want to do? Would you like to learn this art where we get to know the method of giving it all up to God <coughs> but to do that the first step is to know who exactly God is get to know him first so let's see what is it in the Vardhan Supreme Father says the children who are loved by God are constantly seated on his heart throne so in childhood, when you find yourself that you're making your child sit on your lap or you must have experienced sitting on your father's lap as the most safe place, right? Because there you know that you have the support of your father. Imagine the heart throne of Supreme Father. How powerful that is. How lucky a soul would be to be in that heart throne what karmas what thoughts what words and actions that soul must have taken so as to be somebody who can be seated on Godfather's heart throne <coughs> no one would have the courage to separate them from the heart of the comforter of hearts <coughs> Supreme Father is the comfort of hearts. All the souls in this world are tired or are getting tired or are in the process of getting tired and they want the comforter of hearts. They're looking for comfort of their heart from people, from things, from accomplishments but still when that doesn't happen they look for the comforter of hearts that is Supreme Being. This is why you tell the world with intoxication <coughs> that you now belong to God. I belong to God. I don't pray to God. I don't beg to God. I belong to Him. So automatically His wisdom belongs to me. His vision of this world belongs to me. His laws through which this world is working belongs to me. And I follow that so as to be on His heart throne. Then God says, <coughs> because of having this 
spiritual intoxication you are free from all worries you cannot even say by mistake that your mind is a little sad today or that your mind cannot concentrate why it cannot concentrate why is it a little sad because i have taken everything onto me my way the highway the house should function in the way i want it to function people should should listen to me and work the way i want them to my children my parents my family my brother my sister should work and think exactly the way i want them to things in the world should function the way i want them to government should function the way i want them to and when they don't my mood is sad <coughs> so supreme father says when you let the natural course of drama this movie is going on right let the natural course of this movie how it has been preordained pre-created let it go on and focus on your own life and not to change anybody else's life because every soul is an individual every soul has got their own drama written and this thing needs to get deep into the intellect deep in the soul and when we forget it we create that sadness we fall out of the heart throne of god father these words are wasteful words to say mine means to create difficulties mine this is mine that is mine my idea my words my method my children my family my office my colleagues my subordinates my business and then the difficulty starts so how do you get out of this difficulty is what we learn at prama kumaris do come over to the same decos and get this intoxicating knowledge this om shanti